Our very first American brand is an important one. The negotiations begin. No Pampers? But our pint-sized counterpart is having none of it. And that's something of a relief. We can't do without Pampers. Many parents would agree. They can't do without disposable diapers. And Pampers are a market leader. But what about other products from big-name U.S. brands? This song on the radio is French, so that's fine. The toys were all made in China or Europe. Except for this bus, which is from Sesame Street, the famous American children's TV series. And the story about the little gorilla is by an American author. So both of those will have to go. And now the radio switched to jazz, and most of that comes from the U.S. So this, is this is Harry Connick Jr., a U.S. artist, so we'll have to turn this off. That's too bad, but a bit of peace and quiet won't hurt either. Here in the children's bedroom, there's a clock. Made in the USA. That can go. My refrigerator is a Bauknecht, which sounds like a German brand, but Bauknecht has been a part of the Whirlpool Group for years, and that's an American company. So my refrigerator is actually American. So playing by the rules, the refrigerator would have to be turned off, but we'll make an exception this time. This neighborhood in central Berlin is no exception. It's home to some American fast food chains. Avoiding those would probably be good for your health. Then there's Hollywood exports, good for light entertainment, but there are other options. Back to the ubiquitous McDonald's and Coca-Cola. These are two U.S. brands that have long since gone global. So what's a burger lover to do? Burger time. The burgers here are more expensive than in the American chain, but the quality of the meat is better, and there's personalized service. Australian beef, delicious fries, and a soda. Made in Hamburg. Time to head back. The picture on the wall is by American artist Roy Lichtenstein. That must go. And this smartphone might be from a South Korean manufacturer, but the operating system is from the U.S. The tablet uses an American browser, and most of the apps on it are U.S. made. Yeah. So, tablet. no tablet, no smartphone, no internet. It would be hard to get by without American software. That's really hard. There are alternatives, though, but unless you're an expert, figuring those out could be time-consuming. And would all the apps be fully compatible with the new software and operating system? American brands are everywhere in Germany and have been for years, but there are widely available alternatives for most of them apart from the software and perhaps the disposable diapers, a market that here in Germany is dominated by U.S. brands. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.